Today, we're gonna to be going through an activity called the Design Dash, which is a design thinking activity originally by Molly Wilson at the HPI School of Design Thinking. If you scan the QR code or look in the description below, you'll be able to get the materials as part of the Design Dash, download them for yourself and uh, use them if you want to. Before we get into that though, I wanna talk a little bit about misconceptions of, around design. A lot of people think that the way design works is somebody thinks of a problem, sits in a dark room and comes up with a bunch of solutions all on their own and then builds the solution and it works perfectly. This is not how it works. Most of the time, design requires a lot of iteration, a lot of trial and error. Anybody who tells you that something was invented just by sheer inspiration probably isn't telling you the whole story. So we're gonna go through a deliberate design process to learn a little bit about how this can actually be done. There are a couple different processes that are used for design. One is problem-based or engineering design. And the idea is that you identify a problem that's out in the world, you do some research to learn as much as you can about it, you create a solution, you test it, and then you continue the cycle forward as that testing most likely didn't work perfectly the first time. This has at its core a problem that drives the entire design process forward. Design thinking is different from engineering design or problem-based design. At the center of the design process in design thinking is a person. A person with thoughts, emotions, experiences, and it is those emotions and experiences and, and thinking, the human experience, that drives the entire design process forward. The fundamental step that, it's, that is included inside design thinking is empathy. You try to really understand your future users, understand how they feel, understand how they think, so that you can best come up with solutions to the problems they face as they live their lives. So we're gonna get started with the design dash in the next video. Because we're doing this activity in the virtual world, we're gonna be doing this not on pencil and paper, but using Google Jamboard. And so we'll get through some of the details of how that's gonna work in the next video. See you there.